Hello and welcome back to another Omni Heroes video. Uh, in this video we're just going to go through the Idrazil Supremacy, I can finally pronounce it, with thanks to watching Overlord. Yes, you should go and watch that, it's a very good show. Uh, now, uh, Idrazil Supremacy, what is it? So, um, you jump in and it is a PvP mode. So let's have a look at the map. When you first start out, you'll be down in Helheim and you'll climb all the way up the rankings into, eventually, Asgard. Now, Asgard, there is a top 100, I believe, um, and you can, uh, there's also, you know, uh, top 100, 200, 300, depends on how many people are in your war zone and how many people are competing, but um, you climb all the way up and uh, eventually you get some excellent prizes. Uh, so you do get the Sacred Leaf, 300, Enchanted Orb, 10, and then Terra Crystal as well. Uh, now let's have a look at the rankings. Currently slot vacant, of course. Uh, so, uh, the Idrazil shop, what can you buy with all those goodies? Well, you can buy Gwyn, who has fallen off recently, but still very good as a starting hero. Uh, Talos, who uh, has actually come into his own uh, with the introduction of a couple of Mystifier Monarchs. Uh, very powerful build indeed uh, and Makaria who is a carry uh, or was um, very good paired with Gwyn um, on the Glorian setup uh, team if you don't know about that go back and check a couple of my older videos now you can also buy your oracle decrees and your refinement or I would suggest getting both of these these are not great uh, now you do have the option here I would suggest that currently Dora Bella is the best option to go for uh, within this to build her up as much as possible but there are other plenty of other options so just build to who you can level up you know start with uh, one copy of every unit and then get them all to three stars or sorry eight stars and get them up to nine stars and once you got them up to nine stars then you can start building towards uh, just getting Dora Bella up to 11 12 and we hit the 12 mark and you move on to the next one so on and so forth and you do have these down here i have bought these from time to time um just because they can be quite useful in leveling up your team so um yeah uh, that's it for what you get if you win now how to play so there are usually 10 participants in every single um uh, every single room you'll be placed in a room with people around your level um, and then you'll have to go ahead and fight them now you can do that one of two ways either you can uh, press quick match and it'll find the closest person to you or you can go quick challenge and it will challenge the entire thing um, but what we want to do first is we want to go ahead and build a team so let's go ahead and build a team click on lineup and how do you build your teams in Idrisil? Well, firstly, uh, we're going to look at the Season's Blessings. Now, the Season's Blessings are very important. As you can see, you get an increase of 30% attack, which is quite high stat, especially when it goes on base. You get max HP increases by 60%, which is uh, quite good. Uh, and you get Phantoms, you get damage boost increases by 30%. Now, all of these are relevant, and this is what you should really be building your team around. There are teams in the meta which can override this uh, and are just genuinely much more powerful. Uh, like, for example, the combo of these uh, three. Sorry, where's she gone? There you are. Oh, you're already on my team too. Never mind. Um, so, uh, yeah, something along these lines. Um, you know, Dahlia, Ophelia, Halissa on one team, or potentially moving Halissa over to a separate team uh, can be very powerful indeed. But what you really want to focus on and try and get in as much as possible um, is to build around these synergies. So if you've got five Valianters, put the five Valianters in. See how well they do. If your other team performs better, just change them out. You know, um, there's no limit on how many times you can challenge uh, people within the same uh, grouping as you um, but that's that's the primary thing is focus on these so as you can see my team I've built a full Valianters team with Elmer in there what I can do is I could take out potentially Makaria or I could take out Nyx I think to be fair in this instance um, I would need to take out Nyx and it's because of the replacement which is Marlena so Marlena will get an additional 30% damage boost and she will get an additional 30% attack increase 
as will Elmer. That's what the number two looks for. Now, as you can see, uh, we've got no number threes in here. Um, and that's because there's just no unit that is a Valianter, a Shadow Arc, and a Phantom. Um, potentially, that's what the next unit will be. Who knows? Um, but we'll just have to see. So, uh, in this case, I'm going to put Nyx in because she outweighs my um, Marlene. My Marlene uh, is 10 stars, Nyx is 9 stars, but Nyx has her exclusive runes and is a DD unit. So we're going to choose Nyx over Marlena in this instance. Now on the next team, I've built around the Phantoms and I've got one Shadow Arc in there. So I've got Persephone, Althea, Dahlia, Nerissa and Janna. Um, this is for your attacking lineup. The reason that I've gone with this is just the five phantom synergy here uh, and Dahlia is absolutely fantastic unit um, Doesn't fit particularly too well in this team, but uh, can be very uh, effective uh, when fighting off Enemy units as well now what you also need to take into consideration is your defensive lineup as you can see here uh, Kumpai has uh, challenged me and he has one so I can revenge but that's because he's beat the setup that I've got here so this is Nerissa, Persephone, uh, Janna, Althea, Dahlia uh, and as you can see um, it's relatively the same setup because we want to focus on these blessings around here uh, so potentially you want a lot of <clears throat> shadow arcs uh, and phantoms and how you would do that is you would go into your phantom synergy uh, and you'd have a look at who's got two on here so I can see that uh, uh, so if we take these out for now if we don't have a very strong Valiantus team we can build around something like this so you can go Persephone uh, and then is there any more no uh, there is not however um, you know, as you can see, this team will have each one, uh, each per, uh, each body on the team will have that additional 60% uh, HP increase. They will also have, um, well, Marlena will have 30% attack increase, and the other, uh, and everybody else will have the 30% um, attack. But you do need to focus on these seasonal blessings. Sometimes it can be overridden if your teams are much stronger than the competition. You can put whatever you want in and whatever wins wins you know just test it out again there's no limit there's a 30 second cooldown but if you watch the matches uh, you'll be able to see why you lose or why you win uh, and uh, how best to build your teams from there as well so we're going to jump out now what we're going to do is we're going to quick challenge and just see how far we get i don't suspect i'll get all together too far now anna's very tough uh sweetie or nix is very powerful g is all right we beat Kumpai, so we were able to get Revenge. Don't get Avi, uh, and don't get uh, Ivaya as well. So uh, looks like we only got two this time round, but that does put us up to second place. So the teams that we built obviously do work relatively well. We just do need to beat uh, either Anna uh, or uh, Sweetie or Avi um, in order to, to win, but I very much doubt I'll be beating Avi uh, or Sweetie. Uh, Anna is a potential. I, I might be able to beat her, but um, it's going to take a lot of thinking to get around that one. So go ahead, claim our prizes. So you do get the promotional quests as well uh, for rewards, and this is where you get this gold leaf. Uh, and then finally, you get the sacred leaf as well, and being promoted to Asgard. And then these here, you just need to participate. So participate participation trophies. These are very important for enchanting gear. So it is very important that you do participate and get as far as possible to level up your team uh, as well. So th that is my two cents on this. Um, if you can subscribe, uh, please do. Um, I'm trying to get to that thousand subscriber mark and uh, so I can start getting paid. Uh, if you have any comments, please leave them down below. If you like the video, uh, please do. But remember, have a great day.